my gosh, what do you mean? Are they, are they? Oh, oh, what's happening? Oh my gosh, I think we're being hacked. Hello everyone, I'm your substitute bus driver. I just got my driver's license today, so make sure you all stay in your seats. Wow, okay, hello my pals, my name is Holly, and I think I'm about to meet an untimely end on this school bus. The driver says, hmm, my GPS seems to have given me the wrong directions. Seriously, what gives? I'm just trying to get to school. My classmate says, you're the bus driver and don't even know how to get to school without a GPS? It's a good point. They're like, okay, look, Jalexi underscore one, two, two. I'm new, cut me some slack. GPS says we'll be there in one hour. An hour seems like a really long time to get to school, but I guess I don't have any choice now. Wait, what is that? Oh my gosh, it's a bee, a bee! <gasps> Did we hit the bee? Is everyone okay? Did anyone get hurt? I mean, I'm fine. Somebody asked the bee. The bee's the one that nearly got run over by like a speeding school bus driver that doesn't even know how to drive a bus. So what happened? Sorry, I really hate bees. Whoa, that's unexpected. I thought maybe you really loved bees and that's why you crashed an entire school bus to avoid hitting a bee. So, uh, I forgot to charge my phone. Uh-oh. Wow, this school bus driver just keeps getting more and more useless. Why wouldn't you charge your phone before work? Particularly if you need Google Maps because you don't know where you're going. Bus driver says, let's not dwell on the past. We need to see if we can find help nearby. Well, I mean, it's pretty convenient for you if we don't dwell on the past. It's not even really the past, it's kind of the present. Okay, no objective, find help. Okay, where exactly? It's easier said than done. You could have crashed the bus in a more populated area, but this forest, I just don't know that there's anybody around. But I guess we have to look like, what else are we gonna do? We need to find somebody to help us. There's gotta be someone around here somewhere. I mean, I guess we could just see if any cars go by, but the road does look pretty quiet. I just don't understand why this had to happen on today of all days. I've got a really important assignment that I need to turn in. I was up all night working on it. Wait a second. One of my classmates has noticed a no trespassing sign? Private property, that must mean that somebody lives there. Maybe there's somebody there that can help us. Hey everyone, there may be someone living in the woods on the other side of this road. Awesome, says the bus driver. I'll meet up with you guys at the house, but be careful, there's a lot of bees in there. Don't get stung. Okay, new objective, make it to the house alive. Oh my gosh, there are a lot of bees. Okay, I'm actually with the bus driver on this one. This seems so dangerous. <laughs> like, I hope that nobody's allergic to bees. Oh my gosh, <gasps> I think I just got stung by a bee. Oh yeah, I'm getting stung. Okay, good thing that I don't have an anaphylactic response to bee stings. Gotta make sure my classmates are all right though. Is anyone allergic to bees? Wow, what is this house? This is beautiful. This is so strange. It's like the bees are protecting this house. What does it all mean? I don't know about this. Let's just knock on the door and see if anyone can help us. Oh, well, the bus driver's here. He says, hmm, did everyone make it? I forgot to do a head count beforehand. Wow, you're really not good at your job. You are literally the worst bus driver I've ever met. There could still be kids on the bus right now. Bus driver's like, thanks. Now let's find a way inside this house. What do you mean let's find a way inside this house? There's a front door. Let's just knock on it. We could use the doorbell. Okay, objective says find a way inside the house. I mean, are we really gonna climb through these windows? That seems really rude. <gasps> oh, my classmate has found an arm. Please say it's attached to someone living and very friendly who wants to help us get out of here. And the bus driver's like, um, what do you mean you found an arm? I'm gonna go check things out here. Oh, yep, that looks like an arm. Yeah, we've got an arm. That's not good. Bus driver's like, something's not right. We really need to find a way into this house. Okay, here's my question for you. Do we though? Because for all we know, the reason that that arm is there um, is, you know, due to something inside the house. I'm like, I don't think there's any other way besides the front door. The door is locked though. Has anyone found a key to the door yet? What, we're just gonna sneak around and try to find this person's spare key? Okay, maybe they accidentally threw away the key. Let's check the trash cans. Okay, well, that's quite specific. Any keys in here? Well, there's a lot of trash cans. <laughs> Why is this house producing so much trash? Have you not heard of recycling? How many people live in this house? There's just no reason for there to be so much garbage. Well, was that Jenna? Or was that one of my classmates who is dressed like Jenna? Okay, um, hmm. Let me know in the comment section if you saw that. Because like, I don't want to be paranoid obviously, but I kind of feel like I just 
saw Jenna, so I don't want to be starting rumors, but it looks like one of my classmates has found the key. Great job, Jalexi underscore one two two. You sure know how to dig through that trash. I mean, there was a lot of trash. Look, there she is. Okay, oh, uh, okay, it's all good. It's it's just um, just one of my classmates. Okay, let's all go inside. I just gotta unlock this door. Okay, well, hurry up. Being out here is creeping me out. Well, one of my other classmates is saying. Now Jenna will watch us. So what do you mean by that exactly? Can you can you tell me what you mean by that? Oh my gosh, seriously, our bus driver doesn't know how to use the keys. One of my classmates is like, just pass the keys to me, I'll do it. But the bus driver is so stubborn, he's like, I'm the adult here, now give me some space so I can focus. Do you really need that much focus to operate a key and lock situation? Okay, our new objective is just wait for our semi-useless bus driver to unlock a door. Those trees are kind of quivering noticing that the, the, the trees are quivering? Oh, if I just turn it this way. Mm, no. Okay, seriously, just open the door. It's like you I really wanted to get inside the house. You kind of made it feel like it was really important for us to... <gasps> Wait a second. Oh my gosh. 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 Okay, I was freaking out before, but I'm freaking out now. Um, I feel like there's someone watching me. Okay. Where is she? Okay, the bus driver's like, oh, I had it backwards. Hold on. Seriously? Oh my gosh. <gasps> Oh dang. Oh, have it, guys. Calm down, calm down. Start to focus. My brother in Christ, there are girls trying to kill us. You're gonna have to hurry up. Like, seriously, open the door. Okay, you got it open. Hurry inside. Okay, but how am I supposed to get inside? Because the Jennas, they also want to get inside. I need to get inside, but we can't let in the killer girls. I'm shutting the door. Okay, good. None of them got in here, right? Have any of the Jennas got inside? Or are they all outside? Okay, yep, there she is. Ah! That was scary. I guess at least we're inside the house now. The bus driver's like, sorry about that. Turns out I was using the wrong key the whole time. Okay, you hold the world record for smallest brain, okay? Genuinely don't understand how you're in charge of children. Whoa, says the bus driver. I have a world record? Jalexi underscore one two two? Do you really mean it? O-M-G. No, I don't really mean it. Uh, I can't. Help, but feel like we're missing a few people. Huh, okay, well that would be your job as the adult. Oh well, now it's time to see if anyone's home. Are you seriously just uh, skipping over the fact that we've lost some of our classmates? Okay, new objective, search for the homeowner. Mm, oh, nope, nope, <laughs> I thought I found them in the basement for a second. It's just one of my pals. Um, yeah, no, I don't actually think that anybody's home. It's like, this place seems like it's kind of been trashed. There's a bunch of boxes in the basement, but... I don't want to move anything. I mean, we have committed a break and entry. So, I mean, I guess moving boxes isn't that big a deal. Yeah, I found two doors upstairs, but they're both locked. Whoa, what's these? What is these? I don't think that anyone's lived here for a long time. My classmate says, has anyone found a key to the bedroom doors yet? Well, no, I haven't been looking, but I guess I could start. I haven't, but maybe they're locked because they're sleeping. Um, guys? Yeah, yeah, what is it? What is it? Is it an emergency? What is it? Tell me what it is. What? Um, okay, starting to make me nervous. Oh my gosh, what now? Yeah, seriously, what now? <laughs> I have some bad news. Oh, I really don't want bad news. What's the bad news? I dropped my cell phone near the bus. Probably on the road somewhere. <laughs> oh my gosh, you want your cell phone that doesn't have any battery? <laughs> okay, what do you want us to do about it? Okay, we're just kids. I'm just a kid trying to get to school. I didn't expect any of this. I need someone to sacrifice themselves to go grab it. What about you? You want more students to risk their lives to fix one of your mistakes? Yeah, why don't you go look for your cell phone, sir? I'm the only one here that knows how to drive a bus, so if anything happens to me, then you won't be able to get back to school. Just shut up already. We don't want to hear about it. Well, I'm getting salty. Well, whoever decides to do it, shut the door on the way out. We don't want those weird girls getting in. Wow, okay. That's how it's going to be, is it? I like how he's claiming to be the only one who knows how to drive the bus, but he said like 10 minutes ago that he only learned how to drive it this morning. Okay, new objective. Volunteer to get the cell phone by going back outside. Wow, okay. I accept. I have volunteered. I accept the risk. Bus driver's like, thanks, quite Unicorn. We need more students like you. Good luck out there. Okay, just to be clear, though, I'm not doing this for the bus driver. I am doing this for my fellow students. Yeah, whatever. 
Let's just get this over with. Yeah, I gotta run the gauntlet of Jenna's. So, a bit scary for me. Oh no, I'm on the outside. Okay, where are they? Okay, I've got a minute to retrieve that phone. And are they going to come out of the forest to try and attack me? Where are the girls? The killer girls. They had pretty good luck so far. Maybe the Jenna's have gone. Maybe they're not all bad. Maybe. Oh, that's that no trespassing sign. Okay, if I were a cell phone, where would I be? Oh, here we go. That looks like it. Yes. Okay, here they come. <laughs> oh, no. The girls, the girls, they're coming to get me. Oh, my gosh. I don't like how they run. Ah, they formed like a conga line. <laughs> oh, no. I'm being chased by an evil conga line. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. Oh, no, there's more of them waiting. Get out the way. Ah. Oh my gosh, I made it. Okay, here's the phone, everyone. Yeah, that's right. Quiet Unicorn made it back with the cell phone. I am a hero. No thanks to you, Mr. Bus Driver. Nice work, Quiet underscore Unicorn. I'll need to put that on a charger. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. So we actually have to find a charger in this, like, house that we've broken into. I'll call the school once it's charged. You guys see if you can find the bedroom keys, okay? <laughs> It's okay, so you're just gonna be charging a phone and, um, oh, new objective, search the basement. Looks like those keys are down here somewhere, but um, we, I, we're gonna have to move these boxes. There's just no other way to do it. I really don't know why the bedroom keys would be down here in the basement, though. It's a bit of a mystery. Oh, Jade Serpent has cleared away the boxes in the basement. Oh my gosh, all-star. Hey guys, let's check the boxes of trash down here for a key or something. Oh my gosh, more trash? Just cardboard boxes full of trash? What is this trash house? Why do they like trash so much? Like not only are they producing trash, they're also storing their trash in cardboard boxes for later. Like what is, what is the point of this? Oh, Jade Serpent has found the key to bedroom number one. Incredible work, everyone. Let's go check bedroom one for the homeowners. Can you imagine? They're like cowering in their bedroom upstairs because they can hear that there's like a million people in their house downstairs. They're like, no. Okay, let's try to unlock this door. Okay. Okay, we're in. Oh my gosh, it's been trashed. It's been completely trashed. What is this? It's a big pile of trash. Okay, it doesn't actually necessarily mean that anything bad's happened here because as previously mentioned, the people in this house love trash. Oh, whoa, we found a notebook. Um, guys. You're gonna wanna see this. Uh, okay, the way you're saying that makes me feel like maybe I don't wanna see it. What did you find? Says the useless bus driver. It looks like a journal that someone recorded information into. Oh no, is the information pertinent? What does it say? It says. Entry number one. Timmy hasn't been back to school for a few days now. I'm a bit worried. I hope he's okay. Entry two. One of Timmy's friends told me that the last time he saw Timmy, he was with the new girl, the transfer student. I need to find out who she is. Maybe she knows something. Entry, Entry number three. three. I, I found, found out that her name is Jenna. I tried to approach her, but something about her just creeps me out. Maybe she's responsible for his disappearance. Now, I don't want to jump to conclusions, but did Timmy have arms? Or did he used to have arms? Just a question. Entry number four. I'm going to follow her home after school. Something in my gut is telling me to run. But what if he's in trouble? I need to find Timmy. Entry number five. I can't find Timmy. I've looked everywhere. But I think Jenna is on to me. I've been hiding in this empty bedroom when she comes home. I'm surprised she hasn't noticed me yet. Wait, what? Is this Jenna's house? Or is this your house? Whose house is this? Why is Jenna coming home? It seems like Jenna is always around now. I can hear her footsteps. And then the door closes. Then I hear her footsteps again. I think it's only a matter of time until I'm found. Okay, I'm a little bit confused about what's going on here, but um, sounds scary. Sounds ominous. And then the rest of the pages seem to have been torn out for some reason. Wow, there must be important information there. Do you think that girl outside is this Jenna person? More stunning insights from our incredibly intelligent bus driver. Uh, yeah, I reckon that's probably Jenna. Um, probably... But why are there so many of them? That's a good question. Has she cloned herself? Why has she been cloning? Well, what if my classmate here who looks like Jenna is a plant? Maybe she's a clone. Um, did you? Uh, 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 uh. What? What was that? Who's knocking? I think that came from inside bedroom number two. Oh my gosh, there's someone inside of bedroom number two. I think they're trapped. You think someone locked the owners in that room? I don't know, try calling through the door. Hello? Owners? Are you in there? Or is it, is it Jenna? Um, so who's gonna be the one to open?
open it. Well, we need to find the key first. I mean, do we want to open the door? Maybe we should ask them some questions through the door first. Like, hello, are you... Are you a killer Jenna? Oh, no, it's open. Okay, it's already open. Whoa, this is hospital vibes. This is giving insane asylum. I don't love it. And Jalexi underscore 122 has found a notebook. I think I found the other half of that last notebook. Oh, that's interesting. Why would they split the notebook in two? Everyone, get in here. This is probably important. Okay, yeah, there might be some more important information in here. Maybe something that can help us defeat the Jennas. <gasps> Entry number seven. Somehow I've been able to hide from them. I've left half my notebook in the other room in case they catch me. I'm going to try to leave this cursed house as soon as I can. Wow, okay, so it's not her house. Okay, is this the Jenna's house? Why is the house cursed? The footsteps have become constant throughout every hour of the day. I'm positive that Jenna must be working with someone. <gasps> but who? Take your theories. To the comment section, entry number nine. I was able to sneak down into the basement and block off the entrance with boxes of trash. Convenient boxes of trash. Entry number 10. I found a metal hatch down here. I think it must be a secret entrance or something. I'm going to explore it and maybe I'll finally find Timmy. Um, hmm. Do we think that she ever found Timmy? Entry number 11. As I was exploring, I came across a maze behind some boxes. My instincts told me not to go that way, so I didn't. The other way happened to be an exit. When I escape, I'll need to block the path somehow. Wow, that does sound like pertinent information. Entry number 12. I'm going to leave this notebook in case anyone else comes across it. I never found Timmy, but I need to save myself while I still can. Dang, this tale has got some twists and turns. I wonder if we'll ever find Timmy. And that's where it ends. I guess there's a way to get out of here in the basement. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be important information for us going forward, particularly because I'm pretty sure that we're going to be completely surrounded by Jenna's. We were all too scared to open it, but it looks like it may be our only way to escape. Yeah, I wonder where it goes. Bus driver says, we should probably relax here. Seems pretty safe so far. Those girls are probably all back at school by now. Um, there's a bunch of Jettas around the house. Oh my gosh, look at them all. <gasps> oh my gosh. Quickly, we need to go before they get in. Okay, let's uh, get to the basement and get through that escape hatch. Yeah, I'm so glad that we found out about the escape hatch. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. There are so many Jennas. Oh, they're everywhere. They're like at every window and every door. Let me into the escape hatch. Oh no, it's stuck. It's stuck. Um, we don't want an escape hatch that's stuck. Oh, okay, it's opening. Come quick. We've only got a little bit of time left. <gasps> Come on. Whoa, what was that? Was that the front door? Okay, I think they may have broken down the front door. I think we got into the escape hatch just in the nick of time. But what if they come down the escape hatch? Wait, Jen is coming. Oh my gosh, what do you mean? Are they, are they? Oh, oh, what's happening? Oh my gosh, I think we're being hacked. Okay, jump down here, everyone. Are we missing anyone? I'm not sure, but if they didn't climb through the hatch, Jenna's definitely got them. Wait a second. Remember what it said in that notebook? Bus driver says, The notebook said something about a maze and an exit, but it seems like the exit is blocked by something we can't move with our bare hands. Okay, yeah, the notebook did say that, but it's not what I was thinking. Oh, I'm like, I guess that means our only option is to go through the maze then. Go through the maze? Uh, I don't want to. I'm scared. Yeah, I'm scared of mazes too. You could get lost in a maze and never find your way out. You could just be wandering there forever. Calm down. Would you rather just sit here and starve to death? We need to move. Okay, um, it's not very calming when we talk about starving to death. Uh, hmm. bus driver says, can you both stop fighting? We need to stick together. We're going through that maze. Well, more, more like you guys are. Uh, I'll wait here. Wait a second. What do you mean? We need to stick together, but you're not coming with us? Why am I not surprised? Uh, actually... Maybe that makes some kind of weird sense. Um, buds, I've just had a pretty uncomfortable thought. See, remember how in the... Okay, there's a skull here. Okay, I think we found a skull. That's not good. Uh, anyway, so remember how the notebook said something about Jenna working with someone? Well, I've been thinking about it. 
I'm a little bit sus on that bus driver. Like, he is truly unusually incompetent. Ooh, I've got a crowbar. Yeah, all right, got my crowbar just in case. And what is this? I found a crowbar, everyone, at the end of the maze. Yeah, I've got the crowbar now. Oh, the bus driver says, I think we can use that to open this metal grate. Kawaii Unicorn, come back and try it. Okay, I will, but I think that we should be keeping an eye on this bus driver, okay? I think he's really sus. Let me know in the comment section if you think that I am being paranoid, or if you think that this bus driver is super sus. You know what? The more I think about it, the more it makes sense. Like, why are we even in this forest to begin with? Because of the bus driver. And like, who is the one that said that we should go in that house? It was the bus driver. <gasps> Ooh, I've opened the metal grate. Okay, here we go. We are... Oh, I think this is the exit that the notebook was talking about. But it looks treacherous. Let's hurry, says the bus driver. We need to get through this. I'm actually a little bit worried. My classmate's like, oh, I don't know about this. Yeah, I don't know about it either. I've got some concerns. In fact, okay, I've actually... I, there's some more concerns. Actually, about 25 more concerns coming. Someone's like, what was that? Well, um, actually, it was a tsunami of Jenna's coming to attack us. And oh my gosh, no escape. Oh, that's so creepy. I think the Jenna's are trying to hack our Roblox accounts. That is so like the Jenna's. They just love to hack those Roblox accounts. Um, okay, we need to get to the exit and we need to get there really, really quickly because there are like a hundred angry Jenna's hot on our tail. And oh my gosh, we, but we can't forget can't forget to keep an eye on the bus driver because I swear they are so sus. And like here's something that's a bit freaky. Like they were like really insistent that we needed to use this exit. So like, why? Like, are they leading us into a trap? Hey, you guys down there, climb up here and grab my hand. Objective, grab Z's hand? Who is Z? I mean, I thought if we were gonna find anyone down here, it might be Timmy, but Z? Um, Z, who are you? Oh, oh look, oh. No, he's trying to save us! Z, our hero! Unless you're a secret Jenna! You're not a Jenna, are you? If you're a Jenna, tell us now! Oh, okay. I think that Z's busy pulling everyone up, but uh-oh. The power of Roblox gives me strength! Wow, he moved that all on his own? Z, he's a hero! Are you all okay? That was pretty intense, to be honest. Yeah, it was pretty intense, Z. Hold me. Yeah! Says the bus driver, I think uh, everyone made it back alive. I uh, protected them. That is lies. He is lying. So he's like, are you sure all the students that were on your bus are here right now? He's like, yep. Yeah, every single one of them are here from the bus crash. Um, are you sure about that? Wow, said Z. That's awesome. I'll have to let everyone know that you are a hero. A hero? <laughs> no, no. I'm just the uh, world's best bus driver. Oh. Um, well, let's get you all back to school now. Come on, what, we just have to go to school? After all that, oh my gosh, my assignment! I need to turn it in! Can't believe we're getting back on the bus with this absolute psychopath who doesn't know how to drive and, wait a second, what, what was on top of the bus? Is that Jenna?